Hey everybody, what's up? It's Chainsaw Jenna, and today we're gonna carve a pelican. So before we get started carving on this pelican, a company called Renewable Lubricants sent me some chain and bar oil. And it's supposed to be environment friendly, and I'm super excited to use it, and I'm not, this is not sponsored, but here it is. They sent it in this box, and it is, Pretty dang heavy. We're just gonna set it on here and I'm gonna open with, with this wench that I have because I don't really have anything else here. Using the saw that cut this open because I'll probably get bar and chain oil all over the place and we definitely don't want that, so. Guys, I'm excited for this. This is really cool. Oh, whoa, okay, okay, so this is what it looks like. So there's four of these in this box here and oh, gonna knock my whole stand down. Thank you guys again. This is really awesome that you sent this to me because I'm always like worried about, you know, the, the harmful chemicals with carving. It, it is like a concern for me. So the fact that this is environment friendly is super, super awesome. Thank you guys again. All right guys, so this is a pelican and we're gonna try to carve it. It's gonna stand five feet tall total. So three foot of the log and then on top of the log is gonna be somewhat of a pelican that hopefully looks like a pelican. I don't know, this is my first one, so I'm kind of like pretty nervous. But we have to go ahead and pick a log, but I also need to find a measuring thing. Okay, so we're gonna start with the pelican first because I actually don't have a five foot log total. So we're gonna have to glue the pelican somehow. We'll figure it out on the way. We'll be fine. And so I need to measure two feet. Actually, I'm gonna do two and a half because I actually might, I might need some extra room. So I'm gonna cut there and we're gonna put it on a spiker and carve them out. This saw has not been ran in a while, so hopefully it works. All right. There's something. small to carve with anything so I'll probably use this as a base for something like carve something put it on there you know what I mean <laughs> why'd we decide to put these right underneath the tree That's why there's so much stuff everywhere, because I just yeet it wherever I feel like it. So this big guy. Okay, and now I have to lift this sucker. <laughs> there, perfect. You like these chaps? They're super fancy.
I'm switching to my new MS-201C. Look at this bad boy. Brand new looking, kind of. Looks newer than all my other saws. They look kind of like worn and worn out and whatnot. So I'm actually gonna switch to this saw because I love the saw. This is my favorite saw in the whole wide world. I use the saw for all of my carvings. There's never a time when I'm carving and I do not pick up the saw. But for the bigger saws, I feel like I'm just gonna take too much off and carving is just shaving it down so you get the shape that you want so go with what you're comfortable with Because dummy me didn't fill it up. So let's fill this up and then we're gonna continue on our Pelican. First time using the Pro Bio, Bio Pro, not Pro Bio, Bio, Bio Pro Bar and Chainsaw Oil. <laughs> All right, so obviously, here's the Gigantor beak that we have going on here. I'm actually thinking about cutting it in half and adding a piece out here because the um, the customer wants their address hanging from the beak, which I think is a really cool idea. So I actually might cut that and add it out so it's a little more out like how this photo is. But um, basically it's already blocked out. I'm just gonna go in with my um, MS-150C here and just kind of shape him out a little more. And again, this piece is gonna go on a three foot tall. So it's five foot to total. And it's gonna go on a three foot tall, straight log. Hi. <laughs> Makita stuff. I shouldn't say all. I love Makita. They got some good stuff. So I'm going to put this sucker on and then I'm actually going to let it dry overnight and there'll be a part two for this. It'll be all in one video. But. Do 
hopefully we can get some Gorilla Glue out of here. Maybe. This is day two on the Mr. Pelican over here. So we actually got a lot done. As you can see, he's already detailed up and his feet are done and his beak are uh, from blah, 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 blah. We had to add on his beak to extend it a little more because the people want to hang their address down from the beak. So we did that and we put his eyeballs in and I think he's looking really good. So our next step is that we're going to pick a log. We're gonna put them on the log because it's supposed to stand total five feet tall. So we're gonna pick a log and measure everything out and get them on there. We're gonna glue him onto this log and shape him up and make him look like he is sitting on a like beach pole. I don't know what you call it, a beach pole. <laughs> and we have our log picked out. This is our log. And that's where he's gonna be. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. This is really cool. Yeah, so his feet are gonna dangle a little bit cause you know, not all pelicans sit perfectly on a beach pole. And <laughs> on the back, um, we're gonna have his, fe his feathers are hanging too, which is what I wanted. So this is actually a good size log glue this guy on here and also screw him in so he'll be sturdy. Cause right now he can literally just fall right off and we don't want that. All right guys, here's the finished pelican. The customer actually wanted him natural so he's a natural pelican. I think he turned out really good. I didn't know if I would have liked it just natural but I actually do. I like decided to make his like his wings a little darker than the rest of his face and I sanded his beak along with his webbed feet and he really liked um, the wood and he liked this knot so I kept that and I just carved in and here so it looks like it's an actual like post. So yeah guys, here's the finish. Here's the finished pelican. I think he turned out really good. I'm really excited about him. Thanks guys again for watching today's video, watching me make this pelican. And if you're new, thanks again. And hit the subscribe button and the like, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.